first haircut that you gave, did you have any inspiration at all when you started cutting? Were you trying to make him look like a movie star? Or yeah, did you, of course. Yeah. Anyone in particular? And I, and I thought it would just be so easy. Like it was just going to come to me, no problem. I know how to do this, right? Very early on, got picked up by one of the top photographers, you know, to this day, Herb Ritz, and started working with men's grooming. It just it became a, a very comfortable place for me to be. Uh, a lot more guys were coming to me with questions and, and for cuts and things like that. It became a, a thing that I enjoyed to do and, and it started to open up more and more and more in that direction. So I, I ran with it. Guys are unique and when it comes to men, uh, it's about detail often. It's about the length of a sideburn. You know, it's about the thickness of an eyebrow. And beards are huge right now. And how, how thick should that beard be? Should it be groomed un underneath? All of these things come into play. And of course, the time we're living in. There could be a trend that's sort of popular. And right now it's very short back and sides. But you, you, if you go and you put this look on every single man, you're gonna find that some look odd wearing that and it's not the best look for them. When you think about it, we all have our own unique style. Whether we run from it and pretend that it doesn't matter, that in itself is its own style. Or we do start to, to think about it and try to figure out who we are. If a guy can have a nice set of shoes and a great haircut or a great grooming look, he's halfway there. Every man can accomplish that feat. I think that today more than ever, it's okay to care about these things. Vaughn, what, is, what does classic style really mean? Um, classics for me is something that we're revisiting here. A lot, of, a lot of the products that we've come out with are things that you've heard. They're words like wax and talcum powder and balms, gel, but we've taken a new approach with a whole different influx of ingredients that are much cleaner than what I've seen in the past. But from a classic product like that into classic looks, whether it's the way Steve McQueen's hair looked with a crop, the way that, that Elvis and Johnny Cash when he was young looked with the pompadour, there are certain things like the shape of a Porsche, the, the, the way a, a Volkswagen Beetle looks, uh, the blues, jazz, things that just will never go out of style. And I gravitate towards that stuff that's iconic, that uh, just continues to live and actually gets stronger as time goes on. I think men should be relaxed, and I don't think that any of this stuff should be a mystery to them. For years, I would run uh, on set and have things in my pocket that, that would need to solve a quick fix because we were on location somewhere, or we were under the gun of time and it was a celebrity. You have to be very specific about what it is that you want to create and solve that problem. So. You know, I started to form a view on, on what men needed to get to where they needed to go quickly. So you're saying that hair opened up doors for you? You know, to sit and run around Bruce Springsteen's property with him or to, to be putting cream on Jimmy Page's hands for a picture. I mean, the, all of these things, it's just the tip of the iceberg, but you're absolutely right. There's, without this career, Going from scholars to presidents to musicians to actors, it would have never, ever happened in any other context. I mean, what makes a man, in my eyes, as he ages, is the fact that he does have his heart broken, that he wrinkles, that there are um, balding, there is graying, there are um, scars sometimes. And there's integrity, and, and you earn that. And you need to trust it and you need to be able to roll with that because that's that's an attraction to walk through the streets of new york and see the latest rolling stone a details cover or gq cover the shot that we did of of bill clinton and he happens to be on time magazine or oh there's um, ashton kutcher and he's on the cover of gq or something and, and it is it's a it's a real it's a reward realize that what you're doing is working and the products that you're using is working and your vision is working. So we're calling it V76, which is my initial. And it also represents the year that my poor little brother got his bangs chopped up because it's really truly in my mind when I started um, thinking about it and whatever seed was planted then that I had to grab a scissor and grab him and try to do this and be fascinated with the frustration 
eventually going to school and learning it and everything, it's symbolic for me. And it was a great year. 76 is a great year, and that's what we're going to launch the line with, V76 by Vaughn. Do you have a mission? Uh, yeah, to, um, to make all guys look great. And, um, and that's not hard. <laughs>